The main station was calm and peaceful on Sodor, but not for long. Oh no, please, not him. Unfortunately, Percy, it is him. Morning, weaklings. Shunt my coaches to me. I have to take on more coal and find the more important engines. <laughs> Ta ra! Good morning to you too, bossy buffers. I've never liked Spencer. He treats me and Ben like we're just little worthless shunters. He does it to us all. He believes that only large tender engines like him actually matter. We should do something to make him see sense. You're right there, Ben. But the question is, of course, what can we do? Hang on a moment. Why don't we arrange with the manager to get Spencer to do the shunting for a day with us? That way, he gets to see what it's really like to be a shunter. Duck, my old friend, that is absolutely brilliant. Come on then, me and Duck will find the manager. And with that they left. They found the manager at the country station. Are you two all right? Whilst well, as a matter of fact, sir, we aren't. Spencer just arrived and spoke to all of us tank engines like we're scum. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. But that isn't all, sir. We have to teach them a lesson. So they explained to the manager their plan in detail. Afterwards, he looked very impressed. I like the idea, Duck. I shall arrange with Spencer's crew for him to help you out tomorrow. Thanks, Thanks sir. sir. So the next morning, Spencer awoke to find his crew firing him up. What's this about? I'm not meant to be fired up at all today. Today was a display day for me. Change of plan, mate. Oh, really? And what would that be? It would seem that a man just got a job for you to do in order to keep you busy today. Now, come along. We haven't got all day. But as Spencer approached the yard entrance, he suddenly realised and forced himself to a halt. Oh! I'm not working there, am I? This must be a joke. Please say it's a joke. Unfortunately, Spencer, it isn't a joke. You're helping us shunters out today. And we have an extra busy day today. Oh, sweet honey iced tea. What have I got myself in for? Now, if you'll follow me, your first job is ready. Right, in there are some vans. You need to take them over to that platform. Bill and Ben are due to leave in 15 minutes, so if I were you, I'd like, hurry up. What? Are you serious? I never kid, Spencer. Not off your pop. All right, whatever. So with that, Spencer puffed forward.
Oh, excuse me, but where are the trucks? Oh, pardon me, they're in the shed to your left. All right, this is ridiculous. I barely made it through there. There isn't a hell's on earth chance I'll fit in that shed. At that point, Bill and Ben arrived and saw no train waiting for them. Uh, hello? Where are our trucks? Well, excuse me, I can't fit in the shed where your flaming trucks are. Well, get out the way then and we'll ready get them. See? It isn't puffin rocket science, is it? <laughs> Some tender engines, eh, Bill? Oh, don't get me started, Ben. Well then, Spencer, considering you failed to do that job, the Yardmaster has another one for you. Something even more simpler. Uh, what's that? Leave? <laughs> no. There's a train of coal wagons waiting at the coaling plant in the next junction. We need them here to fill up the coal bunkers. You are to go and fetch them. Well, why can't you go? Sorry, Spencer. I have some empty ballast trucks to deliver to the small railway for Donald to collect later. Oh, great. Fine. I'll go. And with that, Spencer steamed off in a huff. Eventually, he was on his way back to shunting the trucks, but the trucks decided to enjoy themselves. Ha 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 ha! Hold, Hold back. back! Hold, Hold back. back! Hold back! Hold back! Spencer was now extremely angry, and with that, he blasted his whistle and charged forward. Back at the station, Henry had finished being prepared and was now preparing to go and get turned round ready for his train. He was approaching the point as Spencer thundered round the corner. The guard at the front of the train whistled, but it was too late. Whoa! Ah. Whoa! Hey. Hey, Whoa! Great. Eventually, the coal dust settled. The yard was in a terrible mess. Spencer had remained on the rails, but the rest, along with Henry and the brake van, were entirely off. Coal had tumbled out of the trucks and scattered across the yard. Soon enough, Oliver brought the cranes. Just afterwards, Duck returned from the Little Western along with the manager. He stormed past and straight over to Spencer. You will go back to the sheds and wait there. I'll talk to you later on. He then turned and walked over to see how Henry's crew and the guards were. Luckily the guard and the fireman escaped with just dislocated shoulders each. Unfortunately, the driver had broken his left leg from the fall, and after it was crushed by large lumps of coal. Spencer stayed in the sheds for the rest of the day and was glared at by all who passed, whether it was an engine, their crews or even the passengers. His own crew refused to speak to him. Then again, they were lucky that the manager didn't scold them too much. It took a good few hours to clear the yards and it wasn't until late afternoon that the manager finally came and spoke to Spencer. He looked more angrier than ever. I am disgusted by your actions, not just from today, but also from what you said to the same tank engines yesterday. On my railway, all engines are the same, whether they are steam or diesel, or express or shunter. You need to understand that without those tank engines, then you and all the other tender engines would have to fetch your own trains. And I know you will hate the thought of doing that. Now, I want you off my railway tonight, but first you're going to apologise to the tank engines and then Henry and his crew. Have you got that? Spencer just froze. 
He had never seen a manager that angry before. He remained quiet for a few seconds before whimpering in a quiet... Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Good day, Spencer. That evening, Henry and the tank engines were in the yard as Spencer passed through with his empty coaches. They glared menacingly at him. I'm so sorry to all of you. I now understand how important shunters can be. And I also know that I should have just ignored the trucks and focused on the tracks and signals. Are you all able to forgive me? Thank you for apologising, Spencer. That was good of you. And I assume that we are all willing to accept your apology? Thank you, guys. Well, I better be off. The manager wants me gone now. Will you ever come back? Only time will tell, little Percy. It all depends on whether I can gain the manager's trust again. Good luck, Spencer. Wherever you go. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks to all of you. See you soon. Spencer did eventually return to Sober on occasions. The manager only held his grudge for a few months before finally forgiving Spencer as well. The engines are glad that Spencer has changed, as is Spencer.